What up folks, welcome back to Ultrazilla Toys and today I have a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants and Monsters Halloween Turtles I'm here with Ultrazilla Jr. Hi. We are <laughs> outside uh, in the uh, porch here area we got a little table over here, and uh, we got some some decorative pumpkins set up. Uh, one that I did, one that Ultrazilla Jr. did, and then I, I fixed a little bit. <laughs> uh, and we got the turtles here. We got some turtles. I picked these up a little while ago, and uh, I saved them for a Halloween review. Now, they're not really called the Halloween turtles. I just said that earlier. Uh, but they are called mutants and monsters, and these are you know both uh, there's also two uh, monster hunter figures Dad, as well yeah can I, uh, can I bring it to Nunn's house? <laughs> yes you can you can bring it to Nunn's house later <laughs> uh, it is you know midday here we're gonna we're gonna get in costume a little later and uh, you know we're gonna do some Halloween in but we want to get this review done so like I said, there is two others. There's a, a Monster Hunter Leo and Raph. I didn't pick those up. I just wanted like these classic monsters. I thought they would make for an awesome like, little Halloween. Um, awesome little Halloween review. And uh, you know, I just, I like the classic monsters. So this is a really cool little representation of them uh, as a turtles, which, you know, I love these like little variants. These are like the five inch turtles so it's not the very basic ones um, but let's start taking a look starting with Leonardo as the mummy here he looks good looks really cool it's got a nice sculpt with a little scarab beetle there the the wraps look pretty good on him as you can see cut has like this cobra wrapped around him that comes off and you can see his shell and stuff behind uh, it looks really cool I really like his head sculpt you know, I like how the bandana looks underneath the wrapping and how the banana comes out from behind. So very nicely done sculpt there. That's pretty cool. Let's see his accessories. He's got this cool, like, very Egyptian looking sword. Very nice. It's done in a gold plastic and it's, it's fine. Sit down now. <laughs> Here, how about you take this little sword? Help, help daddy. And now, uh, who did this come from? From Leonardo. I'm gonna take off this guy right here. You have another gold piece, and this is a snake, a little cobra. Done well, fits around him really good. The sculpt is actually very nice. It's pretty cool, you know? I'll see. Here. Nice texture. Yeah, here you go. So, bringing Leonardo back. The paint looks good on his head. I, I dig it there. Teeth look good in there. Paint there is fine. Yeah, you know, these basic ones, you know, they're not perfect, but they are cool. You might hear some like people passing by or cars or even maybe my mailman. <laughs> you never know. I saw him across the street. So, right, it's done decently for what it is you know paint wise as far as articulation head doesn't have too much movement mostly swivel side to side and you got a hinge and swivel at the shoulder you do have a rotation at the elbow there and a single joint and rotation here at the wrist nothing in the waist or anything you have uh, the same hinge swivel at the thigh, single joint at the knee, and it does rotate. And then uh, a couple of these guys have like little foot articulation there, and that's just for, you know, extra posability, I guess. So Leo's pretty cool. I really dig him. Oh, let's, let's switch out with uh, Donatello here. Donatello is Frankenstein. And he looks pretty cool. I really like the cracked shell there. A little bit of metal there. Yeah, I can sit down now. Where do you want to sit? I 
It's on a chair. You want to sit on a chair? Hold on, let me bring one closer to you. Uh, how about coming over here? Let's get Ultra Zilla Jr. situated here. Here, come over here. Sit at the edge. Right here. All right, back to it. So, he's got this bolt on top of his head, a single bolt, and that looks funny. It's very flat top, and there's a snake bite in my face. He's got a little, uh, little, <laughs> I can't concentrate with a snake eating my face. <laughs> a little stitching there on his face. He's got, you know, a little buck tooth in there, and I really like the look on his face. Looks really cool. Then he's got all these like bolts coming out of his back, which looks awesome. That looks really great. And then uh, on his, he's got a little like shoulder pad thing here that looks cool. And even his like arm pads have little bolts and stuff. Really well done there. His feet have big platforms, which is cool. And you got some toes sticking out of it right there. Uh, just done in black. So let's look at the paint going upwards. This is just done in black there. Got the silver there. Looks good. His paint on his face looks good as well. Uh, they did these pretty good. I think silver here. And, you know, kind of beige there. So not bad at all on his back. You got those bolts, which look good. They did a really good job with these, I think. He comes with his, this little, like, kind of bow staff that's kind of like an electrical thing, a conduit of some sort. Uh, it's just done in, you know, gray molded plastic, and that looks pretty good. Articulation on Donatello, same thing. Ah, you could do a little bit of up and down movement here. And it does go back, same thing here. Swivel, single jointed elbow. Uh, oh, his wrists do not turn. So no, no turning at the wrist here for Donatello. Uh, hinge swivel at the at the hip there again. You do have a single joint at the knee. It actually goes forward more than it goes back, which is odd. Nothing at his foot. So a little less articulation on Donatello, but very nice looking as well. Let's bring in Raphael, who's Dracula or a vampire, honk honk. This is very nice, he's got a nice suit on. It looks pretty cool. It's top, he's got kind of like shorts on. I, I dig it, and he's got a nice cloth cape. It just cut nicely, it looks really good. Uh, attached both at the neck and uh, at the arms here with like little plastics. That looks really cool. And of course, you know, it's got like a really nice like soft plastic collar, which is nice. I dig that. You like this one? Mm -hmm. Your favorite is Mikey though, right? He also, he comes with a little bat here. That's actually, uh, I guess it's him because it's like a turtle head. That's pretty cool, but you can like stick it on him there. Oh, the snake is back. So a nice little black mold of plastic. Here you go, buddy. Here's a something to fight. Your snake. And he oddly comes with uh, a wooden sigh, Look, which is silly. Goes on my finger. Yeah, it goes on your finger. Nice. And a wooden stake. Why would a vampire come with its own wooden stake? Very, very odd. Um, but yeah, there you go. So the sculpting of this guy again is very nice. I like his hair, it looks really cool. Kinda funny looking there. The suit looks good. There is a painted on uh, bow tie underneath here. If you can see it, the red. A little rose there, that looks good. That's it. This is all painted on very nice, kinda tampo printed there. Uh, the face paint is good as well. The teeth look nice and all that. You know, I mean, these aren't terrible. I mean, there's little bits out of, outside the lines here and there, but it's not bad at all. You know, it's 
pretty cool. There's even something black here in the middle of uh, his knee pads. Feet look good. So, eh, I mean, like, there's a few pieces here that are not painted. Who are you talking which will... to? I'm doing a review. Who are you talking to? The people. See? So, there you go. Uh, as far as articulation, just swivel head. Same thing. You know, basic same thing. Swivel hinge. Swivel at the wrist. You got a single joint there. You do have the wrist swivel on him. Nothing in his waist. Very hard to do anything with his legs, unfortunately, because how the coat comes down here. About, like, kick forward a little bit and back. You got that much with the knee and um, nothing at his foot. But you do have rotation at the knee as well. So, there you go. There's Raphael. Very nice looking, very cool. And finally, we have Mikey, Ultrazilla Jr.'s favorite one. Oh, and who's coming in front? Who is it? The snake. I sh I'm showing them. Oh, let me see. I'm Let's showing show. the people. Are you showing the people? Let's see. I tried to get him out first. <laughs> I'm trying to. There you go. Yeah, the snake and the bat. Looking good. <laughs> Ah. Alright, so let's look at Mikey. Mikey comes with a pizza, of course. A little droopy piece of pizza. Pretty well done, though. Lots of sauce. Can't really make out. Yeah, you can make out a mushroom in there. Maybe some pepperoni. Pizza color. And red. And then, uh, for his nunchucks, he's got yeah, bones, which is awesome. I really like how that looks. Just white mold and plastic, but it looks good. Can I take some out? Yeah. And then uh, Mikey here, who's a werewolf. He's kind of like Teen Wolf. Everybody. It's pretty amazing to me how like Teen Wolf has become like almost a standard for werewolves. Um, but it looks good. It, it fits Mikey perfectly. A more comedic aspect of him. Um, so you got a little bit of hair sticking out there. His hair is done here, and he's got like you know mouth. But it could be a little. Uh, and this is not painted back here at all. Wow. Ah, oh, that's kind of a disappointment. All the rest are, are painted. This is just brown uh, instead of the orange plastic. Uh, kind of a, you know, bad oversight there. Eh, that's a little sad. You know, he's got uh, his jacket here. Look! His, his school jacket. Yep. Oh, you put it in his hand. That's cool. With the M. Eh, paints a little meh on this one. Little white lines could be a little darker as well. Um, his face is good. And then, like, you got some fur sticking out of his knees there. I would have liked some paint here to... They, they actually they sculpted it, but they didn't paint the brown. So I gotta say, out of all of these, Mikey, his, his nails are painted black, which is nice. But, because, like, you have nails here, and he's not painted. Um, but I could deal with that more. This looks fine, but I would have <laughs> rather have had the, the brown of the fur because Hi, wife. he's got furry hands as well. Like, that should have all been painted, in my opinion. And this one's a little disappointed in those terms, but he's got some jeans that are cut, so. I can't it's decent. Safe could be a little better, though. Articulation, same thing. Head, swivel shoulder, swivel, and hinged. Elbow, swivel at the wrist, legs do that, little little motion there, single hinge there, and then he has the other one that has the uh, foot articulation, so and there you go. So Mikey's a little bit of a disappointment, but the rest are, are fine, I mean he's, you know, on the shelf he's fine, uh, and for play. Obviously, you know, these guys. Wait, hold on one second, buddy. I'm just going to set him up really quick. And then we could completely... Oh, one other thing with him. Um, and, I, and I'm guessing this is to bring out, like, the weird, like... Weirdness of the, you know, what it is. But, like, his shoulder... One shoulder is higher than the other. And I guess that's for, like, more, like, a monstrous stance. I'm guessing. Hold on, let me get, it. Let me get Dantello really quick, bud. We'll do a quick size comparison with just a couple of figures I brought out. So that's Let the team. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, you want to show them how big? So we brought out Ultrazol Jr.'s Sword Attack Voltron for size comparison, and I brought out a SH Monster Arts Godzilla. This is the 1964 Emergence version. So, there you go. That's how these guys scale with two figures. Here you go, bud. And that's all I got for this review. Hope you uh, dug it. Oh, there's a helicopter passing overhead. Let's wait until that's over. <laughs> helicopter. But yeah, that's all I have for this review. I hope you dug it. I hope you have a really great Halloween. Uh, I have an idea for us to do a review in costume later because our costumes have a theme for something that I, I could do, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not guaranteeing that. But for now, have a happy Halloween. I hope you really dig these guys. I hope you dug this review. I definitely recommend them. They're really cheap, you know, they're under 10 bucks each, so that's really worth it. And that's it. All right, guys. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. What do you got to say, Ultrazilla Jr.? Mm. Meh. You want to say bye? Mm. Bye. All right, and that's it. So till next time, peace out, peeps.